days of Herod, the king of Judea, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a young girl named Mary. The angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and shall conceive in your womb, and bear a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. From henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. He who is mighty has done unto me a mighty thing, and holy is his name. For his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, everyone in his own city. And Joseph, Mary's husband, went up from Galilee to the city of David called Bethlehem. Mary and Joseph took a long trip to Bethlehem. And Joseph got a donkey so that she wouldn't have to walk the whole way. there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. The shepherds were out in the field, watching their flocks. The sheep were at peace because they knew that the shepherds were taking care of them. They had a fire, and then they had a dog. They were watching their sheep. Can you see them? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, bright light lit up the whole sky. Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Behold, a child is born in the town of Bethlehem. Suddenly the whole sky was filled with angels, a great multitude. They were saying glory to God in the highest, because they had good news.
Bethlehem to see baby Jesus. Then the shepherds returned to their sheep, glorifying and praising God for all the things which they had heard and seen. Now when Jesus was born, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Where is he born, King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all of the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where the Christ should be born. Herod said, Go and see the baby child, but come back and tell me that I will come and worship him. Go! and search diligently for the child. He wasn't only going to worship, he was lying to the wise men. When the wise men got to the stable, they got off their camel to see baby Jesus and worship him. They gave him baby Jesus their gifts, and the gifts were gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They were told in a dream not to go back to Herod because he wanted to he kill, wanted baby, to kill Jesus. baby Jesus. Go back to your country by another way. An angel of the Lord came to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And when Herod knew he was mocked of the wise men, he was succeeding rock and sent forth and slew every child that was born in Bethlehem, two years old and under. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentations and weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of Israel. But they are dead which sought the young child's life. Must be done. 